There are so many fun traditions and games surrounding Halloween, but my favorite has to be fortune telling. There are many different ways to foretell the future, and using a pendulum is one of many. This consists of a heavy object, often a quartz crystal or inverted brass pyramid that is suspended from a long chain. You can also use a ring, a key, or gemstones. Before using the pendulum for the first time, it's a good idea to decide the sort of movement that will indicate yes and no replies. Typically, a pendulum that swings in a clockwise circle or moves to the north and south indicates a yes, while one that swings in a counterclockwise circle or moves to the east and west indicates a no. If the pendulum shows no movement of any kind, this indicates that a definite answer cannot be determined at that time, in which case you should ask again later. Hold the end of the pendulum's chain between the tips of your thumb and forefinger. Ask a question, then wait for the pendulum to begin moving. In most cases, it starts responding in about a minute. There is evidence that pendulums were used in ancient Egypt and Rome as dowsing and divination devices, but their use may predate recorded history. Using pendulums in clocks to keep time was an innovation of the 17th century. Pendulums are also used in scientific instruments, such as accelerometers and seismometers. Historically, they were used as gravimeters to measure the acceleration of gravity in geophysical surveys, and even as a standard of length. Fun fact! Did you know the word pendulum is New Latin from the Latin pendulum, meaning hanging. Happy Halloween, everybody. Blessed be.